I know a lot of people play Roblox. It's a known fact. Another known fact is that the only controllers that work natively with Roblox are the Xbox and PlayStation controllers. This is problematic for me since the only controller I have is a GameCube controller, which means it cannot be used for Roblox, but don't worry, I have a solution to that problem. The solution to the problem is a program called X360CE. This program will make your computer think that the controller you have plugged in is an Xbox 360 controller. Roblox will work natively with an Xbox 360 controller, so this is perfect for what we're doing. So let's get started. Instead of using the injection program, um, the injection pretty much work. It's pretty much a bunch of DLLs that you pretty much create and configure using the program, using a program, and uh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work with Roblox. Uh, I'm not sure why. It just doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to use the driver version, the one that pretty much tricks your computer to thinking that there's an Xbox controller plugged in. So what you want to do is that you want to configure this. So to do that, you want to go into games and you want to press add. And then it should be right here on your desktop. You want to press desktop and Roblox should be right there. And you just right click. You press open file location and then you press Roblox player beta. Don't do the Roblox player launcher, do the beta. And then once you open that, you want to click it right here. It should show up now. You want to click it and you want to press the check button, which pretty much enables it. And then you want to press all the 32-bit boxes so that because Roblox is a 32-bit application, it will only work with 32-bit related stuff. So you got to do the 32-bit input now you will see issues right here you want to go to issues if there's something here you just want to press solve or whatever it says just press it it's usually and then what you want to do now is that you want to go here go to controller one you want to press add and then you want to choose your controller uh you could choose your keyboard too but i wouldn't recommend it i would just recommend using your own controller or using just a controller so i have my gamecube controller right here and what you want to do is that you want to map it so as you can see i got it mapped can see that all my inputs work and stuff see that um so yeah make sure they work press you want to press this one enable one map device make sure you don't enable any other ones if any other ones are enabled press remove right here make sure that there's only controller one enabled if it does if you need to calibrate your controller press game controller down here and then you want to select the controller you want to calibrate you want to press properties press settings and you press calibrate right here it'll pretty much you pretty much have to read the instructions and it'll tell you what to do to calibrate your controller and after you calibrate the controller you should be able to input stuff and it should show up here if it doesn't show up or if it shows up incorrectly you could remap it right here you just press it you just click on whatever on here and then you press the button corresponding to what you clicked on here on your controller so that way it can map correctly and uh oh man all right jailbreak is trash oh man this is terrible this these controls though like, this is worse than, like, GTA. Like, how do people just play like this? So, this game's broken. It seems like it's just completely broken. So, if you guys do enjoy that video, make sure to subscribe. If you, if you enjoy that video, make sure you like. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. If this video was not helpful or terrible or just suck overall, make sure you dislike or better yet comment the issue so that I could continue to fix it with my newer videos. So thank you guys for watching, goodbye.